it's great to uh, have a chance to hear this report. Exciting things are happening in South Asia, and I'm here. The, I'm C. Anderson here with an, a movement leader and trainer uh, from South Asia. And for security reasons, I won't share his name. But exciting things have been happening, and I was just hearing a report and said, I've got to share this with others. So thanks for jumping on the call with me today to share about this. Um, and yeah, tell me what's been happening a, a few months back. You initiated something. I heard you started something like 40 online groups through your trainers. Tell us more about that. Yeah, uh, with the you know coronavirus uh, pandemic and the subsequent lockdowns that had happened, people were kind of like isolated inside their homes and you know, a lot of our church planting ministry in all over South Asia had come to an almost uh, complete standstill. And uh, and people were kind of like in a dilemma. Like how do we continue to serve and how do we continue to minister and, you know, help things grow? Uh, a few of us in the leadership team, we started to pray and we started to seek God. and uh, And we felt very strongly that God was asking us to start online simple churches mm. and so we shared this with uh, a group of uh, about 40 of us uh, trainers and uh, everyone felt good about that and uh, we decided to implement this uh, simple church initiative uh, an, an online one and uh, yeah when we started uh, out uh, you know back in july about four months ago uh, there were 40 groups, like each one of us, uh, part of the training group, we started at least one uh, simple church each. Within a few weeks, some of us had started two, some of us had started three. And each group uh, was like a, a size of about six, uh, maybe about five to six people. And because it was online, it wasn't really uh, f uh, more than that. Uh, and we, but uh, the amazing thing was that uh, since that time, things have really grown a lot mm -hmm. and uh, something organic, you know, took off in different parts of South Asia. And uh, yeah, uh, you know, as people met together in these simple churches uh, and as they uh, shared, you know, uh, life with one another, you know, there was this uh, encouragement that came through uh, the mutual pastoral care that was happening. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, we studied the Bible together using uh, Discovery Bible studies, mm -hmm. and uh, there was the emphasis on obedience. So, uh, you know, like, uh, and, you know, coming back the next week after that, and then uh, asking each other how we did with, you know, with uh, the obedience part uh, with regard to scripture. Mm -hmm. So that, that was brought in something that was uh, very life-giving helping people grow in their walk with the Lord and their discipleship. But something that was also really cool was that uh, we also set ministry goals, evangelism goals, disciple-making goals, training goals. And mm -hmm. we shared this expectation with each other that, uh, you know, we were, we were, we, that we were, you know, expected to start at least one group, you know, like everyone that was part of the simple. Stop you there. And just, I want to emphasize that point. So everyone started a group and in those groups, they were challenging and expecting that everyone in their group would start a group. And did that begin to happen or? Yes, that's what? true. Yeah. Everyone was uh, challenged. Uh, there was this expectation that we all understood that we were to start uh, groups of our own, you know, everyone that was part of those 40 simple churches. And uh, yeah, and uh, of course, you know, like uh, you don't have like a 100% success, but, uh, but many, many of the people that were in those simple churches, they started groups. And many of them started more than one group. Some started two, three, some started four. And then, and then they trained their members in their simple churches and and then they also shared the same expectation with them. And mm. then they asked them to do the same. And because uh, the emphasis was on obedience, you know, when we love God, you know, we obey him. Mm. So, uh, you know, so people were motivated. And, uh, and so uh, things started to grow more and things, uh, you know, and, and more simple churches started to be reproduced. And what was happening online started to spill offline. Oh. And, uh, you know, people started to meet in homes in many parts of the region. 
in uh, groups of eight, groups of 10. And uh, people were getting saved. People were getting baptized. And there were miracles, signs and wonders that were happening. And uh, what was really uh, very uh, exciting also was that uh, we saw, uh, you know, like uh, believers themselves, you know, new believers starting new groups. New believers starting new uh, groups. Wow, that's exciting. How did that happen? It happened because uh, there was modeling happening within the simple churches that they were part of. As they experienced the simple church, they realized that, you know, it was something that was not difficult to do. Mm. You know, uh, and uh, as they, you know, as they participated in uh, two or three simple churches that they were a part of, and then they felt encouraged, you know, to, to start one or two of their own. Uh, in one state in South India, the state is called Andhra Pradesh, and, uh, and it's in the southern part of that state. Uh, as of today, uh, 40 or so new simple churches were started. House wow. churches, yeah, with uh, 180 people uh, being part of, uh, you know, those simple churches and uh, a mixture of uh, new believers and uh, also seekers that were taking steps towards Jesus. Very few are older believers. They were mostly like new wow. people. That's really exciting. Yeah, that's amazing. That's so cool. And um, I heard that baptisms were even happening, even with the lockdown. COVID, and there were some even creative ways of doing baptism. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, this happened in a very populous state in North India called Uttar Pradesh. And uh, things were really taking off here as well. And, uh, and so like, uh, you know, like people were kind of isolated from one another. And, but as people believed, you know, as people put their faith in Jesus, there was evangelism happening by phone. So mm -hmm. as people believed, and, uh, you know, like uh, they said, what do we do now? So the, per the person, the disciple maker would start to disciple them and share, you know, steps, you know, how to follow Christ and all of that. One of the things obviously was baptism. And, uh, and then, you know, it just uh, happened that, yeah, you know, like, why don't we just uh, give some instructions over the phone and that they can just do it themselves, you know? Wow. So, <laughs> yeah, so there are quite a few examples of like, just, you know, over a phone call, like then baptism was happening. Believers were giving believers, new believers, baptism. And it was really exciting. This You're was an area. Saying, I baptize you in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And those people are dunking under the water uh, themselves. And then getting back on the phone and saying, praise God. Is that, is that what's yeah. happening? The first person happened in that way. But then there were more than one person, you know, that were, that were, had become uh, believers. So uh, the, the person who got baptized through a phone instruction, then he then or she baptized the people in, you know, in his household or his neighbors. So know, the first there. one is over the phone and then they, they physically baptized the others that were there, but they got it done. They found yeah. and help people obey that command of Jesus. That is so yes. wonderful. What an amazing yeah. story of what God is doing. That's yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, if I may say that uh, in that particular area, it's a group of uh, several, uh, you know, lots, lots of villages and uh, small towns. Mm. And uh, uh, the movement leader from that uh, location just shared with us that uh, over the last uh, three months now, uh, you know, more than 1,000 people heard the gospel and 100 uh, people uh, were saved at least. Wow. And uh, 60 people were baptized and uh, many more are waiting to be baptized. And this just uh, tomorrow, there are going to be like uh, some baptisms are going to take place. So things are, and 50 or so house churches planted. So wow. all within a span of just three, four months. Right?